In this next video, we're gonna take a look at quotes, quote cards, and quote workflows. Now, it's probably not possible in a short video to be able to cover every nuance and detail, but we do wanna share some capabilities with you that an enterprise e-commerce and customizable platform ought to be able to have and some of the nuances that might apply to your specific industry. In this video, we're also going to provide some resources and next steps for executing on your vision for how you can incorporate a quote cart and quoting system into your next e-commerce project. Well, let's get started. To begin with, let's take a look at a typical scenario that's going to occur in a pretty common situation. Uh, here you can see on the screen, we're looking at a particular item that maybe needs to be cut from a larger piece of material or built from a larger piece of material. It may even require specifically an engineering diagram or spec that needs to be signed off on, a production run that needs to be completed, you know, some kind of a set of steps that may be fairly simple or quite complicated that need to occur. So we're going to create a quote instead of automating the purchasing process. We're going to put some steps into the workflow that may be manual um, and may need some form of approval. So the first thing we wanna do is try to make a wizard and some kind of a selector so that the end user can get to as much of the information that we know we need as possible. Here you can also see we're incorporating a lot of detailed data so that <clears throat> the sophisticated user can go in and get some more information and they can essentially answer a lot of questions hopefully upfront on their own if they have that capability. So here you can see that I can select a different type of form. I can uh, provide different specs for the item. And based on the different forms, I'm going to get additional fidelity. For example, if it's an angle cut instead of just a sheet, then I'm going to get a lot more options here. Um, if it's a uh, prepreg uh, or a tube, for example, I'll have specific options for that, etc. So I am going to have very detailed options depending on the business and the workflow. Now, in some cases, we'll also have designs that are custom designs that are completed by the user. They might be uploaded. For example, we've, uh, we've done uh, multiple different types of 3D imagery where a user has to upload large data sets and that data may need to be optimized. Uh, you may have image data where the user is going to upload a vector image and it's gonna be applied to physical items like a sign a very large and expensive sign, or possibly something as simple as promotional material. Uh, whatever your situation is, we may need to provide the user with an estimate of what the cost will be, or just simply let them know that we'll get back to them within a certain time frame and what the workflow is going to be. Either way, you can see how we handle that here with this nice interface, and then ultimately once they add the items to their quote cart, we can show them what the quote cart is and we can provide them with whatever estimates we have at that time and basically let them know what the workflow is going to be again to fulfill their quote. Now, normally this quote fulfillment process is going to then trigger a series of steps. Our e-commerce platforms are typically integrated, highly integrated to the back office systems and front office systems. So this would include CRM, a ERP system, maybe a manufacturing or fulfillment management, uh, PIM system, et cetera. So all of these options allow us to enrich the experience the user is going to have, uh, both from a informational perspective, inventory, pricing, lead time, et cetera, but also by enabling those systems internally to get updates when there's a quote request. So we can utilize existing systems that are already available and push the data into those systems so your team can work in the way they're already used to working. They can get the information via email or whatever notification format that, hey, there's a new quote request and we need to provide a response. Click on a link uh, or go to the internal ERP system and then simply access and complete the quote request. And once that process is done, however complicated it might be internally, uh, then it's as simple as flagging the status and then our system will pull that back in and show the user that they can actually order the item now. They can go and then pay for the item and then complete the purchase like they normally would. Uh, this is a great way to help provide self-service to your customers, but be able to deal with the realities of some of these purchasing processes being very complex 
or having to meet certain jurisdictional or you know state, city, etc. laws that apply to certain purchase types. So we're here to make sure that you can do that. Um, I'll also kind of dive into a couple more examples here next. Okay, so another situation where you may end up needing a quote system, and basically it, it may be very simple, uh, is whenever there are enough items that someone is purchasing, or maybe they're shipping to multiple locations and there's some kind of complicated logistics, maybe there is a drop ship type of situation and you've got to coordinate that. Usually it's gonna be some form of intermediate growth that you're experiencing that causes it to not be completely automated or some level of complexity that makes it such that it's not gonna make sense necessarily to automate the entire process. Either way, here's an example of someone being able to add to quote cart and possibly they're going to order so many items that it's more than the inventory in stock. You can see there are 31 in stock here. And so if they go in and they add too many items, uh, maybe they add items that aren't currently in stock, but they still want to make this full order, uh, they may be able to add it to their quote cart and then from their quote cart be able to see a process where they could get all these items fulfilled, but get them fulfilled in batches, but still get a nice discount for purchasing a large group of items. That's just one example that someone might pursue. Uh, the main thing is that uh, we need to be able to present the option to the user so that they don't bounce. Uh, we want to make sure that they have multiple different options to be able to fulfill their order. Okay, now let's take a look at another example here where uh, basically what we want to show is that we have the cart and the quote cart on the same page. So a lot of times whenever someone is going through the checkout process and they're proceeding along, they're going to add a few items if you have a quoting process to that quote cart and they, they may not know where to find that quote cart. And they may not be familiar with a particular site and know exactly where that quote cart is. So this is an example where we have the quote cart and the cart uh, put together just so it's easy to find everything quick, uh, no, you know, no big deal to, to find it. Here in this particular example, we have a custom built truck and we're going to be able to make an offer on the truck. So you can see a few different examples of that um, on this site. So this is another example uh, where there's a 2007 uh, dump truck essentially and someone can make an offer on the truck um, and instead of being able to purchase it so this is effectively a quote whenever they go through and complete the quote they have a list of items that are in their quote cart uh, it can be a single item or it can be multiple items and so they have the ability to come in and request a quote uh, they can also include files um, they can provide specific details this is just a very catered quote cart and basically the main thing we want you to take away is that we can really do anything with this quoting system. It doesn't have to be a traditional flow. Um, it can be a very complex and detailed flow that matches your specific business workflows. And just to kind of follow that example through, this specific scenario involves large order quantities in a international uh, purchasing situation. And in this particular case, the user is going to be completing a product lookup or search by category, and then they're going to specify the quantity and detailed information, including attachments for a large order. And this may be literally a manufacturing order that they're going to essentially get a lot of quotes on. And then they're going to provide basic information about uh, what the destination port is, the price that they need, um, the pricing method, uh, any kind of value added services like it being an urgent request or receiving additional quotes, um, and then they are going to agree to the additional service fees where applicable. So the idea here is that we can facilitate through the site a really robust workflow that's quite opinionated and has a lot of governance and just think automation to it uh, so that your team and the team members who are using this quoting process have a sense of how it's going to go. The more they understand what to expect and what the timeline is and who has the ball at each point in the process, the better things will go. In particular, for this particular example, the quoting system also includes a chat module, which we'll take a look at here briefly. Okay, so here you can see the chat module in use on the product detail page. And this gives the purchaser the option to send a chat to, uh, to the seller and they can come in and have a discussion with them about this particular item. 
Now, there are also other options for this chat once somebody sends in a quote. Let's take a look at those as well. Okay, so here you can see we're in the message hub and you can see RFQs that they've sent out for what the item was and then the request information. Now, this is just a mock-up, but this idea has been implemented for this particular company uh, into the platform itself. And what's really cool about this is you can see that we have this organized with an overview and then attachments and the buyer and seller can interact. And so this can be your internal team or it can be a marketplace type of model, uh, but they can interact in real time as needed. So you can do this via a chat system, you can do it via a messaging system, and they can literally see when each other are typing like you would typically expect. And the bottom line is this makes it a very immersive process for the buyer and seller to be able to interact with each other. And then here you can see that they can finally accept the quote and check out and complete their order process uh, whenever they're ready. So this process can go back and forth and the workflow can continue until they're ready to make a purchase. And then finally, we just wanted to show you the kind of standard, uh, very kind of vanilla quote cart, but with a discount applied to it. So here the quote cart actually has discounts that can apply uh, and we're showing this as an auto applied discount. So that's a pretty nice capability. We can also include things like shipping estimates, customs and duties, taxes, etc. if we know enough about how to build up that quote in our system. Now, of course, depending on your specific scenario, you may or may not have enough detail whenever someone is placing a quote request to be able to give them pricing information. We're comfortable with being able to automate that process as much as possible either way. And finally, we just wanna say in general that there are a lot of scenarios out there for quotes. We really just hit on a few of them. So let's wrap up and talk about how we can help depending on what your situation is. Okay, so the main thing that we want to point out here with quote carts is, and really the quoting workflow overall, is that we can really do a lot here. And this is our bread and butter. We work with a lot of companies that handle quotes. And it can be for very simple things like bulk orders or complex engineering processes that need an approval workflow, uh, possibly a legal requirement that has to be met and documented before something can be sent, etc. Or it can be very complex. We may have to have a very robust wizard. Uh, there may be literally virtually infinite number of options, of uh, permutations of the item, and they may not be available within a database. Uh, but we may want to automate as much of this as possible. Um, it may be dependent on things like weather and locations and dealing with logistics chains that are very complex and require human interaction. Either way, at the end of the day, we want you to know that we've done it, we've been there, we've taken care of so many different quoting processes and advanced automation of those processes that we will almost guaranteed be able to take care of or have already taken care of something like what you might encounter. And ultimately, we like to do this kind of analysis with potential clients, um, existing clients to help them upgrade by completing a complimentary discovery and a strategy session. If you're interested, feel free to reach out to us. And otherwise, and regardless, we will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.